Hello and a very warm welcome. Mick Schumacher, the son of the legend, the seven-time world champion, gets his first test for Scuderia Ferrari today. They're testing in Bahrain. The big names are there, Ricardo Hamilton. We've got Fittipaldi there, Schumacher, and he gets the 20-year-old. It's like every kid's dream, isn't it, to test for Ferrari, and he's doing that. He's had his test today. He's finished second. Max was first, I believe. Uh, Mick Schumacher second, third Hamilton. I mean, he's done some laps, hasn't he, Mick Schumacher? I mean, it's like every kid's dream. Gets his first test for Ferrari, 20 years old, car number 29, going round the Bahrain track. He did a feature race in F2, finished eighth. Then he got reverse pole for the sprint race. Uh, finished sixth in the sprint race. And then Tuesday today, he's got a test for Ferrari. Unbelievable. He's definitely done some mileage around Sakia Bahrain to, uh, this week. I think, I believe, he's got um, his Ferrari test today. I mean, you could see when he was getting interviewed, he's just happy, he's smiley. As I keep saying, it's like a dream come true for him. His dad dominated from 2000 to 2004 and won five world titles in the Scarlet Red of Ferrari. And he's basically em emulated his father by driving a Ferrari for the first time. His dad dominated, dominated in that car. And now he gets to drive the car that his dad was so dominant in. It must be an unbelievable day for him. But I still say this. I've got to, I've got to put this across. He's got to finish. This, I'd, I'm not having none of this. You get an F1 because your dad's a seven-time world champion. No, 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 no. You've got to wear your stripes. You've got to wear your colours. I don't care. You've got Schumacher in your surname. You've got to finish in the top three in F2 at least. We've seen it with Albon, Norris and Russell last year. They finished in the top three. They get an F1 seat. If you finish in F2 in sixth place, you don't deserve an F1 seat. You do F2 again and you try and win the championship. If he doesn't come in the top, um, if he doesn't come in the top uh, three of F2 this season, then he doesn't deserve an F1 seat. He's got to prove himself. He's got to get in that top three to get an F1 seat. I mean, this is the pinnacle. This is the pinnacle. F1 is the pinnacle. You can't just be giving people an F1 seat because of their surname. He has to earn his stripes. But. A dream come true for him to test in a Ferrari. Today he tests in a Ferrari. I believe tomorrow he's testing the Alfa Romeo Sauber. So not a bad week for him, is it? He gets to make his F2 debut, finishes 8th, gets reverse pole, finishes 6th. Tuesday tests a Ferrari. And Wednesday he's going to be doing the Alfa Romeo. Or Thursday. It's not like... Um, a proper proper test not like uh, Spain like where right before the start of the season I mean there's no like real coverage of this test like but even Hamilton's there that's he doesn't usually do these tests like these one-off tests so that just proves wants to get the Mercedes up to scratch but Mick Schumacher debutizes what can I call this video Mick Schumacher First Ferrari outing, Mick Schumacher, first test for Ferrari. Of course, no footage, only reaction. What is my reaction? I've got to be honest, I never, never liked Michael Schumacher. I just didn't. He's a seven-time world champion, arguably the greatest F1 driver we've ever seen, in some people's opinion. Everyone's opinion's different, but for me, he took it... He took it too far, too far, on many occasions. Jack Villeneuve at Jerez, uh, Damon Hill at Adelaide, when he knew his car was damaged, turned into him purposely. Uh, when he nearly put Barrichello in the wall at Hungary. He just went too far for me, and that's why. But of course, the records don't lie. He's got the most wins in F1, he's got the most world championships, so... His record speaks for itself. Two world championships in the Benetton, 
five in a Ferrari and today his son emulates him by driving a Ferrari for the first time. Holy shit. I bet. What a dream come true for him. I bet he was bricking it, bricking it. Don't, don't go and crash the car. Oh, I'm going to look like a right plum. But Mitch Schumacher, his first outing in a Ferrari. There you have it, Bahrain. Oh, God, he's done some laps around that circuit this week. Adios, thanks for watching. He's got to prove himself, otherwise no F1 seat. I mean, let's see how his career progresses. Adios, adios.